इट इज ऑलमोस्ट गॉन एंड मी एंड सुदीप तो वी आर स्टिल वॉकिंग सो नाउ वी आर लिविंग टूवर्ड्स गैंगटॉक फ्रॉम रोंगपो वी आर ओवर हियर एट द हार्ट ऑफ रोंगपो एंड वी स्टेड ऑन दैट होटल सो इट्स गॉन अ बी फोर्टी किलोमीटर्स अप हिल राइट फ्रॉम हियर सो नाउ वी आर लिविंग रोंगपो एंड वी आर ऑन आवर वे टूवर्ड्स गैंगटॉक फ्रॉम हियर सो राइट नाउ वी आर एंटरिंग दिस हाईवे फ्रॉम रोंगपो सिटी सो The road is pretty beautiful over here. So this stretch of the road is completely uh, devastated. I think some kind of landslide happened, maybe. the first tunnel of our journey so we have covered around 13 km gangtok is around 27 km from here the progress is very slow to be honest because most of the roads over here apart from these downlink stretches are like pretty steep so we have taken a halt over here because the climbs are pretty steep and so we can't push any further so that's why we have taken a halt over here so right now we are crossing this place called singtham so basically we took a short halt and uh, we found this uh, very unique uh, energy drink which is a local product over here and this is a peach flavored energy drink and uh, this is actually genuinely very good and it it only cost 20 rupees for 300 ml so it's actually cheaper than sting but better than sting because it has more caffeine and it actually tastes like a very high end peach juice so we are entering this another tunnel over here on our way towards gangtok uh, So I have just completed this 100 kilometer mark, and uh, Shudip to is right over there. Basically, Shudip to uh, could not keep up with me, so I was waiting over here for him. So this part of the road is so steep that Shudip to could not like cycle. So he is basically walking until the gradient uh, declines to a favorable condition where he can. probably paddle so yeah you know it's quite difficult for me as well the roads are kind of pretty brutal it's quite steep so this part it again kind of became downhill for a very slight section probably but shudip to cannot keep up with me at all like he is uh, way behind me uh, and he is basically walking so every like after a few kilometers i had to like stop for him uh, somewhere underneath some trees shadow because obviously i can't uh, leave him behind right because this is mountains anything can happen to either me or him so i have to maintain a close proximity to him even even for me also it is very difficult to climb uphill in all these uh, roads and uh, to be honest even though i am in uh, mountains in the month of december but legitimately i am sweating i am sweating a lot So previously, I I I was wearing a full 
फुल स्लीव शर्ट एंड नाउ आई टूक दैट थिंग ऑफ एंड नाउ आई एम वेरिंग अ वाइट टी शर्ट बिकॉज आई फील जेनविनली हॉट बिकॉज बिकॉज ऑफ द एग्जॉशन एंड दिस डायरेक्ट सनलाइट ऑन माई बॉडी सो या दैट्स दैट्स माई अपडेट सो फार तो वी आर ऑलमोस्ट लाइक फिफ्टीन टू सिक्सटीन किलोमीटर्स अवे फ्रॉम गैंगटॉक एंड द रोड्स आर प्रिटी स्टीप सो बेसिकली दैट्स वाई वी आर वॉकिंग एंड इवन देर इज अ साइन फॉर दैट एंड सुदीप तो इज राइट बिहाइंड मी इट्स थ्री पी एम नाउ एंड वी आर प्रॉब्ली अनदर ट्वेल्व टू फिफ्टीन किलोमीटर्स अवे फ्रॉम Gantok. Basically, we started at around 10 a.m. and we have been cycling slash walking from like last five hours. And uh, this 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 40 kilometers or so journey from Rongpo to Gantok was one of the most difficult uh, 40 kilometers journey for both of us, especially for. Uh, Shudip the because it's his first time in the mountains so hopefully we'll eventually reach gantok and i just want us to reach gantok by by the time daylight is there i don't want to cycle through these roads uh in the dark because these are like unknown mountain roads so that won't be uh something which i would prefer to do right now we are at this place called ranipur so gantok is around uh, 11 kilometers from here so probably we are going to have our lunch over here somewhere and then after the lunch we'll directly uh, head towards uh, gantok from here so we could not find any proper place where we can have our lunch but we were in ranipur uh, we found a place but that place only had veg momos and all of those things so we don't want to eat anything in veg at this moment so we had two to three packets of chips and now we are like cycling towards gantok and we will directly have our lunch over there time is around 4:20 pm and we are like 10 9 10 km away from gantok and we are still cycling it's around 4:45 and me and chudip to we are like still walking we have to walk for another 8 kilometers or 9 kilometers from here and the elevation gain would be like 500 meters in 8 to 9 kilometers and this road is so steep that we can't cycle at all and we are like super tired and the view is like this from here it is almost gone and me and sudip to we are still walking walking towards gantok it's another 5 or 6 kilometers walk from here so finally we are almost near gantok and that's the gantok city over there uh, another 5 kilometers walk from here it feels nice to finally uh, see that we are almost there but this but the sunset happened over there we almost reached uh, it's around 5 to 600 meters from here and this part of the road is completely dark and that's sudip to over there and the gradient over here is so steep that it feels like i'm doing some kind of proper trekking over here and not even kidding this is like super steep like it's it's brutal it's completely brutal the last 1 km is like one of the most difficult steep gradients that i have ever walked 
so finally we reached our hotel and uh, this is our room 301 this is the bed so this is gonna be our hotel for two days over here and that is how i look right now after uh, probably cycling for maybe 20 kilometers and rest of the 20 kilometers me and Shudipta basically walked and the last 10 kilometers it felt like uh, we did a marathon or something like that it it was super steep and I can't even explain how brutal the gradient was by words but it actually took us uh, at what time we reached uh, that uh, that place called uh, some yeah, art pool? Yeah, yeah, exactly that way. Walked, and, uh, it was around 4.15. Yeah, so uh, the time right now is 8, 5, 8, 7. So basically, we took 4 hours to walk, like maybe 3 to 4 hours to walk. 10 kilometers only and because of the very huge steep gradient so I just feel happy that finally I'm here in Gantok and I'm here in my hotel room and I can finally rest uh, and we haven't had lunch neither breakfast and we still did not get anything to eat throughout the day so Finally, we'll probably head outside to grab some dinner over here. So now uh, we are going to a Genji Mart and uh, uh, we need to find some place where we can eat shitload of food because me and Shudipta, we are both super hungry at this moment. So we need some cheap place where we can get a lot of non-veg food basically to be particular because I genuinely want to have chicken, egg, anything which is non-veg. Yeah, we need to find some kind of place where they serve non-veg in a decent enough price so that we can have a lot of lot amount. So yeah, that's the plan. So let's just uh, quickly find a restaurant. So finally, uh, me and Shudipto reached MG Mark over here, and uh, now we have to find a place over here to eat uh, because we are like super hungry. And right now the temperature over here is exactly 12 degree, if not less than that. But uh, I was so hungry that I did not even change anything. I am just wearing a half pant and a t-shirt. And I just like put this thing on me. For some reason I don't feel cold at all. Because maybe I walked for like over 10-15 kilometers. And my, I'm, I'm not even feeling a slight bit of cold at all. So we came over here to this uh, Muslim hotel. and. Uh, Shudipta is having a beef a rice meal and I am having beef kebab. This is the entrance of the hotel and we have parked our cycle over here. This is my cycle and that is Shudipta's cycle and this is the reception area. Basically Shudipta is submitting all these documents. So it's the next day over here in Gantok. Uh, now uh, we'll head outside and uh, uh, we'll uh, probably go to KFC today. So this is where we stayed the last night and as you guys saw we parked over cy our cycle over there and uh, now we are going outside. So finally we reached KFC and Probably over here we'll get some proper non-veg food because it's very difficult to find non-veg food over here in Sikkim for some reason and even if we can find some non-veg food it's like super expensive like only boiled it costs 30 rupees over here so finally we are entering KFC and this is the KFC timing so we have ordered this thing this is big savings meal so we have around like 14 pieces of chicken over here and 3 cold drinks. So now uh, we are 
got to have something from this cafe called the local cafe because of uh, this cafe's amazing view so this is how the cafe looks from inside and that should be the over and we basically came to this cafe because of this view only because we are kind of full after the kfc but only for the view we came to this cafe so we have ordered these things over here in this uh, cafe so bacon garlic bread egg cheesecake now we are back in mg mark from kfc and that cafe and uh, we we'll, we are actually heading towards a alcohol shop because <laughs> we want some booze because it's cold over here and uh, so yeah that's that and after we get that thing uh, we'll uh, head back to our hotel room and we'll uh, make uh, further plan for our trip So yeah, that's the plan. It's around 3:45 p.m. now. So basically, now I'll go towards that Gurudwara that I saw yesterday on my way towards Gangtok. It's uh, one and a half kilometers from here. So I'll go visit that Gurudwara because that Gurudwara looked quite pretty. So I finally reached the Gurudwara. That's over there. So I've parked my cycle over here, just beside the Gurudwara. and uh, now i'll go inside this gurudwara so these are the rules to enter the gurudwara so i'll keep my shoe over here i've covered my hair and i've kept my shoe and my helmet right over there so now i'll quickly go inside that gurudwara i think this is the most beautiful gurudwara i've ever visited in my entire life So this is the view from this gurudwara and sunset happened over there So after a while I finally had a proper meal over here in this gurudwara uh, because since the day I am in Sikkim me and Shudip to we both could not uh, find any place where we can get some proper meal unfortunately i could not make any videos uh, inside of this gurudwara uh, because uh, they said that videography is not allowed inside so i did not do it uh, but then i really wanted to capture the meal that i had over here so uh, i'll tell you what what they gave me so uh, they had rice uh, roti uh, a chana gravy and a vegetable gravy mixed vegetable gravy and uh, dal and uh, at the end uh, there was this uh, uh, kheer something sort of a thing so this was the entire thing that i had over there and each and everything was genuinely delightful so in my opinion what i have realized uh, in my 25 years of life is that the best things in life like the most amazing things in life are always free to be honest uh because like this food this meal is something which i i'll always remember uh and many other things which for which i never had to pay those things are the best in my opinion uh so yeah I, in my opinion i i truly believe in this thing that best thing in life always comes uh, at zero cost so yeah that's the thing so uh, i'll quickly head back towards my hotel room and uh, share my experience uh, with shudipto because shudipto was feeling sick and uh, he was quite tired so he, he did not wanted to come so i came over here all by myself so i'll share uh, all these experience with him now shudipto taking warmth from this peach melting machine So right now, me and Shudipto, we are walking through this marketplace over here in Bangkok. So basically, at this moment, we are going towards a restaurant because Shudipto haven't had anything since morning. 
I'll probably skip my dinner because I had a lot of food over there in that Gurudwara. So now after getting some food for Shudipto, we'll straight away head back towards our hotel because tomorrow we'll be leaving Sikkim and we'll straight away cycle towards Gantok from here. So we have to rest for a while. So I'll conclude today's video over here and I hope this video was interesting. If it was, then do like, share this video and I'll see you guys with the new one.